Uh. All right, Jarvis. What are we wearing today? Jarvis? Sir? It's a public function. My apologies, sir. Jarvis, I can't wear a metal suit to a party, so <laughs> just something else. You know, I think there's a few bugs in your system, because I just told you no metal suits. Like, why aren't you... Now that's what I'm talking about. Welcome to Red's Effects. The same shirt... That's not gonna work. Welcome to Red's Effects, the same show that has more episodes in total than The Simpsons. That's definitely not true. Anyway, today we're tackling a subject that looks quite amazing. In the movies, I don't know about mine though. <laughs> it's Iron Man holograms like we saw in Iron Man 1, 2, and 3. Now, because we saw it in 1, 2, and 3, it's quite a diverse effect and each director has had a chance to mold it and make it look different for each film. So we're not going to have an exact looking effect that matches 100% to the films, rather the foundation of that effect with my own unique spin to it. In order to complete this effect, you can download the pack in the description that contains a hologram look preset that I made by combining a whole bunch of effects together and dragging a window over them and clicking create preset for all those effects instead of making you apply every single effect because there's a lot of them. And basically, when you apply this effect to a PNG image, which is an image without a background, like this one, not this one, because this one does have a background, when you apply it to whatever image you want, as long as it's a PNG, it'll basically make it look like it's an Iron Man hologram. And then you can follow the steps in the tutorial with that image. Also in the download pack is this disc looking thing over here. I don't know what it is, I just made it, and yeah, it basically is the base of the hologram over here. Now guys, if you do have another editing software like Hitbone 4 Pro, After Effects, or basically any program that can do 3D model work, then you can go that route. Let's jump in Hitbone 4 Express and I'll show you how it's done. Here we are and here we go. I've got my footage set up in a comp and all my components from the download pack in the media panel. Now, let's scrub along the timeline to the point where I want my hologram to activate. Right over here. I'll grab the disk image from the download pack and place it in my timeline at that point. So let's make this sucker fit. I'll click this box over here and make it a 3D layer. You're gonna have to play around with this rotation, scale and position all in 3D space in order to make this disk look like it's actually in your scene. It's gonna be different for you of course because of how and where you shot your footage. So let's push the disk back in Z space, maybe scale it up or down a bit, play with all the different rotation settings and basically guys, just get it to look as if it's flat on your surface. So let me quickly do that for mine. Right, now let's animate it so that it doesn't just pop on screen like some sort of cheap magician. I'll move over to the controls panel and turn on keyframing for scale. Now I'll turn it down to zero, move forward 5 or 6 frames and set the scale to whatever works for you. For me, it's about 51%. And for some sugar on top, we'll change the disk's blend mode to add. Righto, time to add our hologram PNG image. In the skit, I had multiple holograms appear one after the other, but I'll just show you how to do one. After that, it's just as simple as repeating the steps for however many you want. So, making sure I'm at the point where my disk has fully appeared, I'll drag my image into my timeline. Just like with our disk, I'll change it to be a 3D layer and do the same sort of positioning work to get it just in the right place. There we go. Now let's animate this image too. I'll turn on keyframing for scale at the point where my image first appears, set it to zero and move forward six or seven frames, all based on your liking of course. Then turn the scale back up to whatever you want your final size to be. You can also rotate it a bit in Z space like so. Turn on keyframing, move to the end of your comp and turn it a bit more. This just gives it some subtle motion and sounds the effect much better. Okay, remember that preset you installed? What? You don't? Well, go get it! <laughs> Enough of that crap. Let's head to the effects panel, down to presets, and drop the hologram look preset onto our image. Bammo! Instant hologram. But, as always, let's tweak. 
So for me, this looks good because I built the preset using my own images. But if it doesn't for you, just experiment in the controls panel by adjusting the settings of the various effects that the preset is made up of over here. Now let's give the hologram some glow. Duplicate your hologram image, head back to the effects panel, into blurs, and drop a blur onto your duplicate image. Now, untick clamp to edge and boost that blur amount way up. This gives it a nice subtle glow. And finally, the last step is adding some environment lighting to our shot. So let's create a new grade layer by clicking on the plus icon and selecting a new grade layer. Then in the effects panel, go to color correction and drop a curves effect onto your grade layer. Now just boost the green channel up a touch and maybe the blue as well. Select the freehand mask tool and draw two masks on the grade layer. One over yourself and one over the surface that the hologram is closest to. Then feather those masks quite a bit. Now head to when your hologram starts to appear Turn on keyframing for your grade's opacity. Move forward to when the hologram is fully scaled. And set the opacity to around 50 to 60%. And that's all folks. And that's how you do an Iron Man hologram. Stay tuned next week guys because I'll be tackling another request that maybe involves something in the fire realm. You can catch me up on my Twitter and my Instagram. You can also send me requests on those two platforms if you want. You can also leave it down below in the comments. Subscribe for more amazingness and to get notifications whenever I post a video. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And one second. And I'll see you next time.